Hi, good afternoon, Adam with Reflection Ridge Painting. This is Catherine Taylor with Revival Web Design. You and I spoke on Friday. I hope you did have a great weekend. Um, my apologies on getting this video over to you a little bit later than anticipated. I've just been pretty swamped. Uh, but I am going to do a deep dive into your website. It's going to be pretty quick for you. It's going to just give you some key points. And if you'd like to chat afterwards, feel free to respond to the email or give me a call. Um, so I'm looking at your website. Looks good. Uh, first things I notice is that you need a lot more content on it. So hopping into a tool that I use for uh, my research, it's called AREFs. It is a, a site that I pay for every month. And to give you a little bit of education, so Google has a lot of algorithms that um, come into play when we're looking at our websites. Uh, one of the things I want to point out on here are a couple of keynotes. Um, your UR, the UR is just the strength of your website. On Google, yours is at 15 out of 100. The DR is your domain rating that also goes up to 100. Yours is barely there. That's your trustworthy or popularity on, on Google. Um, a couple of other things to point out are backlinks. Uh, backlinks are links from one website to another. If you have high quality backlinks, it does help um, increase your site's ranking within Google, and that's what drives organic traffic. Uh, the other thing that we, we discuss is, is content and keywords. And you're, like I had said before, I could already tell, in order to get um, more organic traffic, you would definitely need to add more content to your website, including keywords. And these keywords are the phrases that people put into Google to search for certain services. Um, your number one competitor is this River City Painting and Remodeling. Their website has a lot more content on it. And to give you a quick overview of what theirs, uh, their numbers are looking at, they have a 30 on a scale of 100 for their UR, uh, 3.8 for their domain rating, uh, significantly more backlinks, as well as referring domains and a lot more organic keywords. So you see that they're getting 203 um, searches per month. That's the organic traffic. Uh, so you are missing out on a fair amount of, of, of foot uh, traffic in order to get some additional revenue. So some of the things to point out when we talk about keywords, I'm going I'm to show you what they're ranking for, and then I'll show you yours. The two things to pay attention to is the volume. So this is how often these particular words are searched every month. So there's a lot of people actually searching for a painter, Wichita, Kansas, painting, Wichita, Kansas, um, River City painting. And if you see here, this particular website is in the number one position almost all the way down. And relatively, these, this KD means the keyword difficulty, how hard it would be to rank you for some of these keywords, it wouldn't be that difficult. When we take a look at the keywords on your particular website, I'll show you how this pops up. You are on pages probably three or four. Your page, you started with position 17, 22, and it keeps going down. And in order to get that natural foot traffic, and I know you had said that uh, before that you don't really care for, for Google, but it also comes down to revenue. If you're looking to grow your business, if you're looking to try to, to pick up some outside work other than referrals, your website's what's gonna be the way to do it. And the last thing I wanna to touch on are, is, on, is your Google My Business, the GMB. So that's covered in something called citations. That's how often your name, address, and phone number are, are out on, on, the, on the web. And for Reflection City, you do actually have a fair amount of citations. You're at 32. Uh, you actually outbeat Wichita uh, painters, uh, but unfortunately their website just go, gets a lot more traffic because of, of everything that's on there. So with that being said, uh, please feel free to respond to the email. I can give you some additional information. We can get into some ways I can help. And if anything, I'd love to hear some feedback, what you thought of the information and any uh, thoughts you might have. Appreciate your time and hope you have a fantastic afternoon. Bye-bye.